If you are looking to buy OBD2 scanner, you probably saw that some of them have the ECU coding function and you might get confused about what exactly does it mean. This video will explain what the car coding is, which OBD2 scanners can do it and how to use it to unlock hidden features of your vehicle. You will not be able to change color like I did, but there are some interesting features to be unlocked on some vehicles. I will show you which scanner do you need, how to do it and which exact options are there available for your vehicle. So what is the car coding? First of all, it can be confusing because when you see ECU coding, you are probably thinking about tuning the performance of your ECU or engine control unit. But when we say ECU coding, it doesn't mean engine control unit, it means electronic control unit. And yes, engine control unit is electronic control unit, but you have in the modern car, you have 20, 30 control units and each of them can have some coding options. If you are looking to tune performance, change the fuel settings on your engine control unit, that is done with the ECU programming, not ECU coding. And now, what exactly is ECU coding? Basically, the ECU coding is something like accessing the hidden menu on your vehicle and choosing from available options. Where I review some OBD2 scanner and people ask me, what can this OBD2 scanner code for my vehicle? The question you should be asking is, what options to code are already put in your vehicle by your vehicle manufacturer so the settings are in your vehicle from factory and you can only choose within those settings for example for this toyota there are maybe 20 settings to be changed you can allow opening windows from your key fob you can change your trunk opening settings you can disable seatbelt warnings but all of those options are already in the vehicle your electronic control units know these options and only thing you can do with ECU coding is either enable them or disable them. Now the two OBD2 scanners that can do ECU coding and still are very cheap is either OBD11 or Volkswagen Audi Skoda Seat BMW. Those brands have a lot of coding options. And then I am using Carista. I used Carista for this Toyota. It also supports maybe 10 other car brands. I will link in the description to both devices. Both OBD11 and Carista have the page on their website when you can check all available customization. You need to input your car brand, car model, and it will show you all customizations you will be able to do with those devices. Both of them are cheap devices and they can be used with your smartphone. It will cost you from 50 to 100 dollars. And actually the Carista app is only 10 dollars for one month. So you can buy it for one month do all the customizations you need and then just cancel the subscription your customizations will be learned by your control modules once you have those customizations done you can simply unsubscribe and don't pay anything more to connect these apps you will also need obd2 adapter which will connect your car to your smartphone the obd11 has its own adapter and carista works with elm327 adapters but i will recommend to use carista and maybe any other coding apps you will find you don't want to use those very cheap adapters because they have some connection issues and even though you are able to connect with them if they lose connection in the coding process you are risking damaging your control modules. That's why I recommend the OBD Link adapter because is it probably the fastest ELM327 adapter. And also you don't want to do any coding if you have low battery. If you know that your car battery isn't in good condition, always hook it up to car battery charger while you are doing the coding. It is better to be safe than sorry because if you damage your control module it can be couple hundred to replace them at the dealership. But I am using the OBD Link, I did hundreds of coding and I know never had any control unit fail. Just make sure that your car battery is in good condition and that you are using trusted adapter. So now you know what the car coding is. If you want to know more about OBD2 scanners, check my other videos. And if you are completely new to car diagnostic systems, I actually have free OBD2 training. It is 50 page PDF, which you can download completely for free. It will be also linked in the description.